Let's hear from Ron Hart now. Here it goes. It is the time of year we reflect, we give thanks, we look ahead. So who better to do that with than our friend Ron Hart, the humorist, syndicated columnist, man about the South. Ron, what are you thankful for? I'm going to sort of uh, bring up the, the memory of Furman Bisher, who used to write in the AJC every Thanksgiving what he was thankful for. Yeah. Uh, you know, we just went through a situation that was much like Thanksgiving where we got to choose between a turkey and a fruitcake, so in the election. So we moved beyond that right now. I'm, thankful, I'm really thankful for, like, hypocritical politicians like Gavin Newsom, governor of California, Nancy Pelosi, who lay down these rules that people are supposed to abide by, and they don't abide by them themselves. You know, Pelosi gets caught in a hairdresser. Gavin Newsom gets caught at the French Laundry, a very fancy French restaurant, eating dinner with his lobbyist friends. You know, and when they got taught, they both, of course, out of, out of habit, blamed it on global warming. So I love to see that. Three weeks down the road, we're still counting ballots. It, 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 you know, you, you feel like you're in that hamster wheel of which maybe there's no getting off. Yeah, I think the election's over. I mean, uh, you know, the, the, I'm saying a lot of that's following. It's still not conceded. Uh, the election to Jim Carrey to, to do the character will stay alive. But yeah, I think the country needed that. There'll be some court battles going forward. I hope it was an honest process. There were some, you know, midnight ballot uh, jolting around that maybe needs explaining. But unless there's a smoking gun of some systemic system of uh, dominion and voter cheating, this thing's over. They seem to be getting along. The concession's been made, essentially, and the GSA is allowed the Biden administration will get the information, and we're, we're back to kind of a normalcy now. Senator Marco Rubio said yesterday that Joe Biden's cabinet picks sort of reinforce the old establishment of the Ivy League, that, uh, you know, it is how it's always been in this country, and that he essentially is now looking toward the decline of the United States. Very, very, yeah. very rough line, but there was a certain establishment about taking a look at some of those names, including John Kerry. It'll give people, some people comfort, others think Washington needs to be turned on his ear, which is Trump was in the process of doing. So hopefully uh, just calm the markets and things will be fine and, you know, we'll go on as a country. Pumpkin pie guy or sweet potato, which are you? Pumpkin pie. Really? A good, yeah. so, a good southern boy like you? Yeah, pumpkin pie.